Now it says write an equation in sloped intercept form of the line shown. Now again, they give us two points, and we could also just make a triangle here and count squares and go one, two, three, four, and then across one, two. And it's going downhill, so I know it's a negative four over two, which actually equals a negative two. Now that's one way to find the slope. We could also use the ordered pairs to find the slope as well. So we know our m is a negative 2. We don't know the y-intercept because we're not given that portion of the graph. So now what we're going to use is one of the ordered pairs that they give us. So if we look here, and again if I clean this up just a little bit, one of the ordered pairs given to us is 1, 2. So I'm going to use this one to be my x1 and my y1. So again, remember point slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we're just going to substitute in what we know. y minus 2 is equal to a negative 2, which is my m, times x minus 1. But they want us to write it now into slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So now we have to simplify this. So the first thing we're going to do is distribute through to get rid of the parentheses. So I have y minus 2 equals negative 2x, and a negative 2 times a negative 1 is plus 2. And now solve for y. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. And again, make sure you add it with the like terms. And my final answer is y is equal to a negative 2x plus 4. And now that's my answer in slope intercept form. So now it says write a linear function f with the values f of 4 equals a negative 2 and f of 8 equals 4. Now, if you recall, when it's written as f of 4 equals a negative 2, this is my x value, and this is my y value. So that's just the ordered pair 4, negative 2. And then this ordered pair, this again is my x, this is my y, that's the ordered pair 8, comma 4. So again, I must first find my slope. So I'm going to find my slope using the slope formula. So it's the difference of the y's. So I'm going to go 4 minus a negative 2, again taking my y's, all over 8 minus 4. If I do that, keep, change, change, that's 6 on top. 8 minus 4 is 4, and I reduce that to 3 over 2. Now again, I'm going to use point slope form, and I'm going to use one of my points. This is the point I'm going to choose to use. 1, because they're both positive values. So I go y minus 4 equals 3 halves times x minus 8. Now again, I need to put this into slope intercept form. So we're going to go ahead and solve this. I'm going to distribute through first. So I have y minus 4 is equal to 3 halves times x minus, and I have to take 3 halves times 8 over 1, so I cross cancel. And I get 3 times 4 is 12, so that's minus 12. Now I'm not quite done because I want to make it y equals, so I'm going to add 4 to both sides. Again, make sure I'm adding my like terms. So my final answer is y is equal to 3 halves times x minus 8.